everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Modded Playthrough. Thank you so much for all of the wonderful support in the return episode last episode, my friends. We actually did hit our 500 like goal, which is really, really amazing to see, my friends. I'll tell you what, let's see how long we can keep that streak going, okay? If we can keep up with 500 likes per episode with these modded episodes here, that would be absolutely lovely. And it'll be more than enough to tell me that you guys are still excited for the series and more to the point, want to continue seeing more. To start off today, we're actually going to have a class change. That is right. I am thinking I'd like to switch to a mage class. As you can see, we've got the Clothier's Wrath here coming in at a whopping 132 magic damage. It is beautiful. With the Statigel Magic Cap, it brings it up to 141. And that isn't even taking into consideration any mage accessories that we are going to put on. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a bit of a route around my chest. We're going to see what kind of mage accessories we can put on our little mage loadout here. The Mana Polarizer. This should be an interesting one. Increases mana by 50 and magic damage by 6%. But there is a trade-off. Life regen is lowered by 3 if mana is above 50% of his maximum. Grants Spectre healing, though. The amount healed scales with your mana. The healing only works while holding a magic weapon. The more mana you have, the more you heal. So, yeah. There's trade-offs for both having the maximum amount of mana and also buffs to having not a lot of mana. And that's going to be an interesting one, isn't it, my friends? I'm kind of interested to give this thing a bit of a go. Hmm, interesting decision we've got to make here. We can either upgrade the Worm Scarf and make the Bloody Worm Scarf, which actually has melee benefits, but less damage reduction. Or we can stick with the Worm Scarf, try and get warding on it, so we can have maximized, A, protection, and B, damage reduction. I'm thinking we stick with the Worm Scar. I'm going to try to upgrade my Frost Spark Boots to Terra Spark Boots as well. The good news being that we can make quite a lot of the bits and bobs that are needed for it. So I'm going to see if I can't figure this thing out. We need leather. We need water walking potions. One, two, three, four, five bits of leather. All right. Water walking boots obtained. Obsidian skull obtained. Obsidian water walking boots. There they are. Guess what? You can even make the lava charm. So we're going to do that. To the underworld to grab ourselves some lava. And there it is, the lava charm. Believe it or not, I can make a jungle rose. And the reason we need that is because if I was to head back over to my anvil, we can make an obsidian rose, would you believe? So, uh, we pop on over to the Tinkerer's Workshop, aka the Elemental Assembler. There's the lava waders. And there they are, the Terra Spark boots. <laughs> hey guys, you want to know the cool thing as well? We chuck these into the recipe browser and we've got ourselves Angel Treads coming up next. Once we have defeated all three mech bosses, we can, as a matter of fact, make these. Extreme speed, 36% increased running acceleration. Oh man. This is going to be quite the good one, my friends. Anyways, my friends, just a quick note to say that if you aren't subscribed already, you might want to consider doing so. We've been uploading Terraria content on this channel here daily lately, and I have been really, really enjoying all three series that I've got going on. So if you're new around here, consider subscribing with those bell notifications turned on. If you do want to go on further with your support, though, you can use code Python when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs for 5% off. So increasing our magic damage by 6%, eh? I think if we were to get ourselves a bit of menacing on here we can increase that to 10 percent increased damage we go ahead and get ourselves some menacing on the emblem here and we can have a further 19 percent increased damage hey hey you see where i'm going with this we sort of buff whatever our accessories actually do so these increase damage that increases damage we increase it even further we play to the accessories strength so check it out now the clothy is wrath coming in at a whopping 160 damage with 31 percent crit chance <laughs> so if you haven't noticed already i've got myself some crafting goals for this here frigid flash bow i remember this being an absolute beast of a weapon in one of my previous calamity series so we need to make a frost bolt a flare bolt and then we can make the frigid flash bolt holy crap the damage per second this thing can do five thousand clothy as rap oh my god Wow, I am really looking forward to using this against the Destroyer. Doing 5,000 damage per second is absolutely 
ridiculous oh snappers it is looking good my friends he says as he can't find any snow or ice blocks apparently i don't have any so i'm gonna have to buy some because i can here we are flare bolt frost bolt Oh, snap. All right, and now we need essences of helium and essences of havoc. Oh, red devils can uh, drop them. Brimstone elementals as well. Uh-huh. It looks like the red devils are going to be the way to go, my friend. So I guess we're going to have to head down to the underworld. Let's see what our Clothia's Wrath is really capable of. Oh, here we are. There's red devils. Nice, 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 nice. If I could get myself some uh, Havoc Essences. There we are. All right, we've got one out of two. You know what? I saw the message saying that there was something new in the Deviant Shop. If it is the ability to spawn in a red devil, I'm going to be so happy. Ah, uh, there we are. Demonic plushie summons a red devil only usable in the underworld. Well, okay, let's do this thing. Boom. Hey, buddy. How's it hanging? <laughs> oh, so good. There we are. Hey, essences of havoc. I love the fact that we just don't have to wait around for this stuff. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, right. Okay, how do I make it? What do I require? A bookcase. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there it is, the frigid flash bolt. Needless to say, it's going to be mythical or bust, my friends. There it is, 100. What? These do an identical amount of damage with an identical amount of crit chance. Wow. This thing does use less mana, though. So I guess that's what's going for the frigid flash bolt. Let's see what kind of damage per second we've got going on. 4,200. 5,000. Oh, mama. Oh, it's just filth, man. It's utter filth, dude. Wow. Okay. So, um, <laughs> let's see what we can do against our next boss, which is the aquatic skirt. So, if you're a sand, starfish, and shark fins. Oh, no. Uh, I think I've just made a ginormous mistake. Uh, go home. Yep. Not having it. Not having it. Wait, what the hell? Anna Heater. Oh, okay, she's gone. <laughs> there we are. Anna Heater again? Nope. She has not awoken. So I did manage to get this thing, the Abyss Shocker. No idea if it's any good. It only does 55 magic damage. I don't even know at what point in the game you could have got this. I mean, obviously we can get it now, but how early in the game could you have gotten it? That is the question. Honestly, got no idea, my friends. Anyways, there we are. Seafood. That is the summon item for the Aquatic Scourge. We can buy ourselves combo pots finally, my friends. What I'd like to do is maybe grab a few of these and then maybe the mage ones. Yeah. There's the battle combo. And there's the mage combo. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, man. We are about to be absolutely wrecking shop here, my friends. All right, to the right-hand side of the world we go. We're going to see about doing this thing. Aquatic Scourge is here. Uh, quite exactly where. Well, I have no idea. Oh, here we come. Hello. Hey. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, there's a lot going on here, my friends. Oh, <laughs> damage, though. Very good. Okay. So far, so good, I would say, my friendos. So far, so good. Gotta make sure we don't get sort of trapped in the circle that he seems to be trying to, uh, you know, do against us. If I can get to the point of getting some adrenaline, that would be amazing. Oh, no, we lost it. Darn it. Oh, wait, about a third of the way down now. Cool. Wait, where is he now? Oh, son of a gun. We're gonna do that to me, are we? Oh, oh, oh okay. Projectiles. Oh, God. There's a lot going on now. Oh, snappers. There's bullets everywhere. Uh, Got to be careful. Oh, no. There goes me adrenaline again. Yeah. Still 5,000 plus damage per second. <laughs> it's disgusting, isn't it? Truly a dirty, dirty amount of damage this thing does. Oh, no. Oh. I could have easily avoided that. What the hell am I doing? Come on, Python. What was that, dude? All right, let's do that again. There we go again. Oh, it doesn't all fly at you with some speed. I've just got to keep. Oh, yeah. Plenty of agility here, my friends. Just, uh, just got to make sure we dodge the head here. 
If we can get ourselves a bit of adrenaline, that would be absolutely beautiful. Come on. We're a microsecond away from getting it. There we are. All right. Now is where we do the damage. Hopefully. Oh, my God. Oh, 8,000 damage per second. You guys see that? <laughs> where are you coming from? There you are, you son of a gun. Yeah, I mean, come on. This is... Oh, my God. A second load. A second load of adrenaline, my friends. Could be enough to kill him this time. No, doesn't look like it. Maybe a little bit of mana regen would have been nice. Took a lot of damage there, my friends. Got to be careful. Real careful, in fact. Come on. This has got to be enough now. Come on. We're so close. Ah! Oh. Really? Python? Python, Python, Python. I got complacent again, didn't I? I got complacent again. I genuinely thought that last dash, like his dash towards me, I thought that would have been it. I thought it would have been dead. The health bar was so low. It's ridiculous. Oh, great. A bunch of my buffs have been used accidentally. What the heck, man? Wait, what's this? Yarim stimulants no longer exist, apparently. Interesting. Uh, yeah. We need to top up our potions. For some reason, a bunch of them have been used. Yeah, you think you can debuff me, Terraria? Nah, dude. Try it again, Aquatic Scourge. Fourth time lucky. That's the old saying, isn't it? Totally not third time lucky. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, bit of adrenaline. Oh, come on. Finish him. Oh, it's not happening, is it? Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Come on. This isn't difficult. Python, what are you doing? All you have to do is dodge the attacks. It's not that hard, man. I mean, if they were like fast moving projectiles, then yeah. Holy crap. What is wrong with me, man? Yeah. Come on. Come on. This is the time. Come on. We got this. Oh, we've got a heal as well. Love to see it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Python. Oh, my God. I'm choking. I'm choking this. I'm choking this so bad. Don't choke it, Python. Come on, don't choke it. Don't choke it like a moron. There we are. Oh, hey. The acid rain event is literally immediately started. And believe it or not, that is the next thing we need to do. The acid rain post-aquatic scourge. Holy guacamole. All right, there is a mini boss to be done here. Cragmore Maya. Okay. Should be an interesting time. And now we've got the epic music as well. So excuse me while I crank up the music and have a good time. I actually legitimately love the music from this event. Like, seriously. <laughs> Uh, it's like real funky, but it sort of worked with this game as well and this mod. I love it. Yeah, frigid flashbolt. Oh, this is where this weapon shines. It just seems to pierce like, I mean, maybe not infinitely, but seemingly infinitely. I love it. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's a coming. Oh, hello. That's where he is. Oh, he just like sort of drops to the floor. And like, oh, good grief. He's got 9,006. Oh, good. I'm dead. Good oh. Okay. He's only got 9,600 health. Oh, wait. He didn't even despawn. He's got the same amount of health as before. Uh-huh. All right. There you go with your laser. And... Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Go on. Go on. Try it. Oh, he is dead. Epic. All right, Crawl Dead Maya taking out the game. There's even a relic from it. Honestly, I think this is my favorite event in the entire game, like both in Terraria and modded overall. I love this event. I really do. <laughs> I think it's mostly the music. Like, I can't even lie. I genuinely think it's the music. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, the sulfuric skies begin to clear. That was fun. That was actually really fun. I loved that. <laughs> and there we are. Already ticking off a couple more bits and bobs off our list. The next dude to be taken down is actually the Destroyer. So yeah, very cool. And look at all the stuff we've got. This is cool, dude. 
absolutely amazing. So here we are. We've got some new relics to put down. There is the Crawdad Maya uh, thingy madu hickey and uh, the Aquatic Scourge relic also right there. We do, of course, have ourselves the lore item for the Aquatic Scourge here. Another once grand sea serpent well adapted to its harsh environs. Unlike the other Scourge, which was half starved and chasing scraps for its next meal, it lived comfortably. Microorganisms evolve rapidly, so it was able to maintain its filter feeding habits as the sea putrefied. What a stark contrast to the rest of the ecosystem. Nearly every other creature in the sulfur sea is hostile, a shame that its last bastion of tranquility has fallen. <laughs> Quite so. So yeah, we've got a few things going on here. We've got ourselves the sulfurous grabber. Oh, it's a yo-yo. Oh, that's cool, dude. Man, that has some uh, pretty mad range on it. This totally makes me want to have a yo-yo loadout now, my friends. Maybe that'll be the next thing to be had after our mage loadout, eh? Ruthless spent fuel container. Ooh. Interesting. War never changes. Throws a fuel container with trace amounts of plutonium that causes a nuclear explosion. The explosion does not occur if there are no tiles below it. Stealth strikes leave a lingering irradiated zone after the explosion dissipates. Holy crap. That sounds kind of devastating. <laughs> We've also got an accessory here, the nuclear rod. It's a material. Minions release an irradiated aura on enemy hits, plus one max minion grants immunity to irradiated as well. Hey, that sounds pretty good. And here we are, of course, checking out the treasure bag for the Aquatic Scourge. Holy moly, there's a lot going on here. We've got ourselves another T-Mod Loader vanity set. That's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> All right, what else have we got here? We've got the moist locket. There's a worm wriggling in it. It's from the Calamity Vanities mod. We've got the angling kit. We've got on ourselves a corrosive spine. 5% increased movement speed. All rogue weapons inflict poison and spawn irradiated clouds on enemy hits. You release a ton of clouds everywhere on hit. What the heck? Most ocean enemies become friendly and provides water breathing. Nice. We've got the Baron Nautical with 45 range damage. And we also have the Submarine Shocker with 120 true melee damage. Pretty sure I've already got most of the angling stuffs, but we'll still open up the bleached angling kit. Uh, oh. Ah, great potions. All right, I mean, that's always useful. I'm not going to complain about it. So to really finish off the episode, what we need to do is finish off the display area for the Aquatic Scourge. And that means trying to get ourselves the mask. We also need to paint the bases of these here new relics that we've got going on here. Let's try black. Eh, that kind of works, kind of doesn't. A dark green, maybe? I genuinely can't tell what the sort of primary color on this is. All the rest of the relics are all sort of color-coded with something. They've all got, like, an overbearing color scheme. But this one, it's kind of neither here nor there. Well, as much as the green is a little bit too bright, I still feel like it makes the most sense considering the biome where it lives, you know? The sulfurous ocean. Yeah, I'm kind of down with it. We'll go with green. All right, and there he goes again. Love to see it. All right, we're looking for a mask, ladies and gentlemen, and there it is. Yes! <laughs> Love to see it. What else have we got here? The uh, Scourge of the Seas. Oh, very cool. Uh, another Baron Nautical. Okay, pretty awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, believe it or not, that will do it for the Aquatic Scourge display area, which means we are free in the next episode to get right on with the Destroyer. So for now, though, it means we're going to wrap up the episode. We do, of course, have the comment of the day right here coming from Butterbean, who says, just wanted to suggest that you build a huge arena in the jungle biome. You'll be fighting a lot of jungle-specific bosses soon, and having the arena for the late-game bosses is a life saver. You're quite right. In fact, there's quite a few of them, aren't there? Like, if we were to just go through it, I mean, yeah, Plantera technically would become enraged at the surface, so that's something to bear in mind. But there are plenty of other bosses after that. The Plague Bringer Goliath, that's one of them. Uh, the Dragon Folly, I think, is another one. Uh, Yaren is another one? Maybe? It doesn't say to use it in the jungle. Hmm, 
Interesting. Okay, well, like, yeah. Either way, yeah, there's a good amount of jungle-related bosses to be had later on in the game. So, yeah, you're quite right. We definitely do need to get a bunch of arenas made. Not just one in the jungle, but a whole bunch of them. But, yeah, we'll hopefully get on with that in not too long from now. But for now, we're just going to keep on going as we are. Next episode is all about the Destroyer. So, look forward to that. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, of course, you're excited to see more. And you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you would head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like it would really help out myself the channel and the video massively hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content but for now thanks for watching have a great rest of your day thank you for your support and i'll see you guys in the next episode Bye bye